back to my channel, Adventures with Noko. Yo, welcome back to all my adventures. Today we're gonna have an adventure on books. Book reviews. Books, books, books. I just love books. Today's book is Akimbo and the Baboons. Akimbo and the Baboons is a very nice book. Written by Alexandra Michael Smith. Alexandra Michael Smith is a really good adventure story writer. I'd like him to be my personal story writer. But I'm gonna read you a few pages so you can get along with the story. Akimbo and the Baboons. Special visitors. There are some days that just feel exciting right from the beginning. And this one. And this was one of them. School had finished for the year, and a whole month of doing exactly as he pleased stretched out in front of Akimbo. That was thrilling enough. But to make things better, this was the day that his cousin Kosi was due to arrive for a three week stay. He was the same age as Akimbo, or almost. Akimbo had been born two days before him, and that made a big difference, or so Akimbo sometimes said. Gossi liked coming to stay with Akimbo. Not only were they or the two boys from friends, but Gossi, who lived in a town. Gossi lived in a town. It was a chance to stay on the great game reserve where Akimbo's father was head ranger. This was a real treat for him, and he always counted the days until his uncle, Akimo's father, picked him up at the station in his truck. So there was a lot of excitement that morning when Kosi arrived, arrived and carried his things into the room. He, he was to share with Akimo, but there was, but there was more to come. We're having another visitor today announced Akimbo's father. The baboon lady is arriving at lunchtime. Akimbo looked at his father. The baboon lady, he asked. He had not heard of anybody called that before. And he wondered what it meant. Was it a lady was it a la was it a baboon dressed in a lady's dress? Was it a lady baboon? Or was it a woman who had a pet baboon? So we can all see what the book is talking about so far. And no, 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 it wasn't a baboon dressed in a lady's dress. 100% wrong. It's just like a lady who works with baboons. Her name was Jenny. She said, she introduced herself as Jenny. She said everybody calls her Jen. So then she said they should just call her Jen. And that was great. So then, Akimbo, Akimbo asked her dad what a baboon lady did. A baboon lady studied baboons. The baboon lady said, I have come here to see, I have come here to see the baboons and study how they share their food. Akimbo looked puzzled. Baboons share their food? <clears throat> Can you say that again, Miss Jean? He, he said in a sarcastic tone. Akimbo was very puzzled. He said he'd like he and Kosi wanted to go with him, with Jen. They agreed, and they, there was also a little hut where, where some of the people built for Jen to stay in while, while studying the baboons. One of the baboons, which they called Ben, had this wire stuck around his foot. Imagine this was your um, leg and this is your foot. It just went like that. It was so tight that it cut through his flesh and he was bleeding. The baboon. He always limped. Which was very sad to look at. They did, they did some special helping distracted the other baboon that they called Tommy, set, set Ben free from that wire. One day, Akimbo and Kosi went out to the valleys of the reserve to check some stuff. 
monkey was spotted some some birds some bird tracks it was a tracks it was tracks of a turkey they followed it then they ended up into the actual plane that was just a game reserve but now they ended up into the actual plane it was all akimbo's fault to find out more about this book make sure you buy it akimbo and the baboons by alexandra michael smith He's a great story writer, she or he, I don't know. And anyways, you should buy it. But before we do that, I have a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds only. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, like, and click the notification bell. Try it, it actually works. Bye, see you next time in my next adventures.